Genesis chapter 3. Now the serpent was more crafty than any wild animal which God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say you are not to eat from any tree in the garden? The woman answered the serpent, We may eat from the fruit of the trees of the garden, but about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden, God said you are neither to eat from it nor touch it, or you will die. The serpent said to the woman, It is not true that you will surely die, because God knows that on the day you eat from it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it had a pleasing appearance, and that the tree was desirable for making one wise, she took some of its fruit and ate. She also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realised that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together to make themselves loincloths. They heard the voice of God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. So the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of God among the trees in the garden. God called to the, man, to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard your voice in the garden. and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree from which I ordered you not to eat? The man replied, the woman you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree and I ate. God said to the woman, what is this you have done? The woman answered, the serpent tricked me, so I ate. God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you are cursed more than all livestock and wild animals. You will crawl on your belly and eat dust as long as you live. I will put animosity between you and the woman, and between your descendant and her descendant. He will bruise your head, and you will bruise his heel. What's the prophecy? To the woman he said, I will greatly increase your pain in childbirth. You will bring forth children in pain. Your desire will be toward your husband, but he will rule over you. To Adam he said, Because you listened to what your wife said and ate from the tree about which I gave you the order, you are not to eat from it. The ground is cursed on your account. You will work hard to eat from it as long as you live. It will produce thorns and thistles for you and you will eat field plants. You will eat bread by the sweat of your forehead till you return to the ground, for you were taken out of it. You are dust, and you will return to dust. The man called his wife Eve, which means life, because she was the mother of all living. God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife, and he clothed them. God said, See, the man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil. Now, to prevent his putting out his hand and taking also from the tree of life, eating and living forever, therefore God sent him out of the garden of Eden to cultivate the ground from which he was taken. So he drove the man out, and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden, the angels and a flaming sword, which turned in every direction to guard the way to the tree of life.